Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly talking about the SEMrush keyword difficulty. This is something that can help you gauge whether or not you're going to want to be attacking a specific keyword if it's going to be too difficult for you based upon if you have a newer website or if you have more authority. Now, if you'd like to test out SEMrush or just follow along and see how this works, I will put a link in the description where you can get a free trial for SEMrush. So what I did is just typed in SEMrush review. Obviously, this is going to be a commercial intent type of keyword. People are looking for reviews. Usually it's going to be before they make a purchase or go for a trial. With this, as we can see, the keyword difficulty is going to be 67%. It says you will need to have 69 referring domains and optimized content to compete here. That's just to compete. So based upon their keyword difficulty, is it going to be a little bit harder to go for? Yes. Do I agree with this? Yes. Is it going to take 69 referring domains exactly? Probably not. It really depends on how high quality those backlinks are going to be, You know where you get them from, what the anchors are, and so on and so forth. With that in mind, I've talked about a lot of times that when it comes to keyword difficulty, they're a great ballpark metric to look at. It's not going to be the be all end all, but based upon what SEMrush has had to say, but over the years, SEMrush has really been tweaking around their keyword difficulty to give you a better idea and more accuracy about whether you should go after a keyword or not. In an example like this for a new website, it's going to be pretty easy that you're going to probably want to maybe save this for later once you start getting some backlinks, once you start getting some authority, and so on and so forth. With that in mind, let's take a look at a great article that SEMrush came out with. It says, not more accurate than any other tool. Keep in mind, this did come out a few years ago, but nevertheless... What I want to do is kind of show you how they calculated this now because this is very good. So with step one, it says SERP analysis. They say identification of the median value for three metrics across the URLs on the first page of search results. So we have the median number of referring domains pointing to the URLs that are ranking, the median authority score of the domains that are ranking, and the median ratio of follow slash no follow links pointing to the URLs that are ranking. So those are some of the biggest metrics. And when you think about it, it's probably what you're going to want to be looking for. Even if you weren't using a keyword difficulty, what you can do is just pretty much go into Google, type in your keyword, and are there really big authoritative sites ranking for this? Like if you're in, say, like muscle building and weight loss, and you see like bodybuilding.com there, or like men's health, or some of these really big publications or magazines or things like that, you know that it's going to probably be a little bit more difficult to rank for. Okay. And same thing goes with whatever niche you're going to be in. When you see a lot of these huge authoritative sites ranking there, probably means that it's going to be pretty competitive right off the bat. Aside from that, if there's a lot of domains or backlinks pointing to them, that's also a really big sign. You should probably know that by now. And of course, they have the median ratio of follow slash no follow links. Moving on from that, we have step two is going to be keyword parameters analysis. In addition to the SERP related factors above, we also look at some qualities of the keyword itself. Each factor carries a different weight in our formula based on how much they are likely to impact the challenge of ranking on the first page. So as we talked about, the median number of referring domains domains for the URLs is going to have a weight share of 41%. And in my opinion, that's great. That is going to be one of the biggest ranking factors. We all know that backlinks are just set, play such a huge deal when it comes to ranking. So it's nice to see that. Below that, we have median authority score for ranking domains. As I talked about previously, I also agree that that should have a much higher overall weighted score. And the fact that it's second here is good. I agree with that. If you see these huge authoritative sites ranking there, it's probably going to be a good idea that, you know, it's going to be a little bit tougher to outrank them, obviously. Search volume is going to be another one. We have our median follow, no follow ratio for ranking URLs, featured snippet, instant answer. And we have a, a bunch more that get lower and lower, like branded keywords, local packs, knowledge panels, top stories, people also ask, and so on and so forth. We even go into the negative aspect with word count and keyword and no SERP features. Aside from that, it says, finally, after calculating the KD percentage for a keyword, we will then weigh the score based on what regional database it's in. This helps us avoid outliers and in inflated deflated scores in less populated countries. Overall, that gives you a good idea of what they're using when it comes to giving your keyword difficulty rating or score. I specifically like this and how they explain it because what I'm always doing is looking for when I go to like type in a keyword, I see what is ranking. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. And to give you a little bit more tips on 
around that, given the fact we're talking about keyword difficulty. Not only are you looking for authoritative websites, like if they're there, it's probably not a good thing. However, you're looking for brand new websites. If a website just started and is ranking for these keywords, like not only on the first page, but really high, that is a good indicator that you want to go for it. Because if a brand new site is starting to rank for it, you don't need a lot of, you know, really optimized content to overrank it. Sometimes you might obviously, but you're not going to need a lot of backlinks. And if a brand new site can rank for it, the chances are high that you'll be able to, especially if you really optimize your content. And if you need to, you can send links to it as well. Something else I've talked about in a previous video, if you're going for informational content, what I've seen, usually if there are forum posts answering questions, they are so easy to outrank, okay? I see this a lot with a specific website that I have that is sports related where people are always asking questions. And anytime you see these forums, it's just, it's so easy to rank for them for the most part. If you see Quora, that's usually a good thing. However, sometimes Quora can have a ton of answers and a ton of authority overall where it might be a little bit more challenging. But the fact if I'm seeing forums or if I'm seeing Quora or maybe like a Pinterest pin randomly in there, that's a really good thumbs up sign that you want to go for it. So something to look for aside from obviously your keyword difficulty and what's there and you know what's not there are going to be some of the newer websites like a newer affiliate website not a lot of people ranking for it and is anyone actually answering that specific question okay keep that in mind if no one else is going after that specific keyword it's going to be much easier for you to rank as well okay i want to scroll down a little bit more because this very long article but i just want to talk about another section so give me a second i'm going to scroll down to it all right so you might be asking what is a good keyword difficulty score they explain this for you as well and the cool thing about this when i did my keyword uh, research video, I talked about how you can sort by the easiest, which is good. You can go straight for the low hanging fruit. So first and foremost, zero to 14 is going to be very easy. These are the best opportunities to start ranking new web pages on Google as soon as possible without backlinks. If you're a new website, you really got to be going crazy over those. Okay. Next is going to be 15 to 29, which is going to be easy. These keywords have some competition, but are still possible to rank for when you're starting out. To be able to rank for these, you'll need quality content focused on the keywords intent. From there, we move from 30 to 49, which equals possible slightly more competition. You'll need well-structured and unique content appropriately optimized for your keywords. Show some examples there. Now we're moving to the difficult. We got 50 to 69. You'll need to have some backlinks in addition to your well-structured, helpful, and optimized content in order to compete here. Now we have hard mode, 70 to 84, even stiffer competition. These keywords will demand more effort in terms of getting higher authority referring domains in order to rank your well-optimized and helpful content among the top pages. Last, we have very hard mode, 85 to 100, the absolute hardest keywords to compete for, especially for a new website. These will demand a lot of on-page SEO, link building, and content promotion efforts to eventually rank and acquire traffic. And there was a little quote here that says the calculation that takes into account the median number of backlinks and authority score plus the relative weight of the links really helps nail down a more precise score. I do agree with that. That's why I wanted to bring up this article. You know, like I talked about a lot of times, usually when it comes to like keyword difficulty types of stats or just tools, they're a good ballpark measure. But this specifically from SEMrush goes into a lot of the aspects that I look for. And I even talked about a few more aspects you can look for if you're looking for keywords to rank and rank quickly when you have a new website. But overall, that's my quick video when it comes to the SEMrush keyword difficulty statistic overall. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you want to test them out, the link will also be in the description for your free trial. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.